We have something from one of our, our fans out there. I love fans? that you're writing. Yeah, no, they said well, they're a fan. They said they're a fan? Yeah. First of all, um, congratulations on binge watching all of your videos, and I love them. I especially like love to see how Kathy gets more and more confident with time. You're awesome. Thank you. And it was. Like, my first ones were like, oh. Um, second, I'm a question. I'm a cis woman in a long term relationship with a guy who is more than okay with me hooking up with other women. Mm -hmm. However, I have a hard time not coming under the radar because everyone sees me as straight, not blaming them. I do have a boyfriend. And once I decide a girl attracts me, I feel creepy creepy going to lesbian mode and trying to flirt with her. How can I signal I also like women, and particularly them, you know, individual ones, without being creepy or handing out business cards? I also have a hard time flirting this, but this seems to be ultra hard with trying not to be creepy. And So... Thank you so much for writing in. I'm here with Reed Mahalka from ReadAboutSex.com. Well, obviously. You just tell them you're a fan of ours. And that solves everything. This is Kathy Bartuli from the IntimacyDojo.com. Kathy, your advice. Go. Um, so, I actually am going to steal your advice. Um, was that okay? Go ahead. Yeah. You stole everything out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> He's having an emotional day. Yeah. So um, I, I like to, I actually, Reed taught me this, but I will go up to someone and say, hey, and I usually mention something about them that's not physically appearance. Like, I, I really loved how warm your smile is, or your eyes are just really, you know, warm and inviting. I'm wondering if I could flirt with you a little. Um, so uh, I usually don't like to use something like, oh, your, your dress is really pretty, or your hair, you're really beautiful, because I feel like a lot of people get that, and it's a little bit trite after a while. Find something that really genuinely attracts you about them. Your laugh was really infectious. I'd like to get to know you a little better, and I kind of like to flirt. Um, is it okay if I do that badly with you? Um, and so that just that lets them know what I'm trying to do, um, and I let them know that I'm awkward at it. So if it comes across creepy, it's mostly because I'm just really bad at flirting too. Um, but that that advice has worked for me another number of times. Mm -hmm. So just going up and saying, hey. Um, another thing is just to say, hey, I know you just share what your problem is. Like, go up and go to someone and say, hey, I find myself kind of attracted to you. And one of my problems is because I have a boyfriend, a lot of people think I'm straight. I'm not. And is it okay if I flirt with you? So, so flirting has a lot to do with building connection or relatedness. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. in, in the way that I do it, um, making clear what your agenda is or your objective and then in, as in doing it in a way that's an invitation for people to be playful with you mm -hmm. um, because for me flirting is about being playful with another human being and inviting them to be playful back but because we live in, in at least I'll speak for the United States in American culture we are not good with flirting mm -hmm. because there's all these rules and and people feel like it can't be controlled and it spirals out and what if I give mixed messages okay. and then you know if if, a guy, if I'm a woman and a guy thinks I'm flirting with him, but I'm not, then he might get upset. And, you know, there's all kinds of bullshit, sexist bullshit about that. So the big thing is letting people know what you would like to do and inviting them to do it along with you. And, you know, as awkward as that seems, it's for a lot of people who can get up the courage to do that. It reorients what's happening. Mm -hmm. And if you're worried about what people are going to think, then l I would add that in in a way is like, hey, I'm practicing flirting. I would like to flirt with you. And I'm worried that you'll think I'm straight. Would you like mind us thing. practicing together? And then, in a, in a, and again, like with a little bit of practice, it then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I know what to say because it's just kind of, obvious to say what's obvious but people we're so worried about what other people are thinking and we're trying to calibrate to what we think the other person will be okay with that it's really hard for us to capture our own obviousness if that made sense <laughs> so with a little bit of practice you don't need a script you just need to kind of lead with what's true mm -hmm. And then do it in a way that's not creepy, which is usually you're trying to hide something. Mm -hmm. So if you have a concern and you didn't own up to it, <clears throat> that can occur like something's weird. Or you're trying to appear very suave when you don't feel yeah, suave Yeah, like you're not being authentic. 
Um, so when you're trying to hide something, the other thing that can occur is creepy, air quotes, is when people are starving for something or so worried about being crushed that there's this like, this energy about it that when you try to talk to somebody, a lot of people who are sensitive to that are just like, what the fuck is going on? I've been there, done that. That tends to be creepy in those two instances. The, the other kinds of things that tend to put people off are something that is so clunky that people then fear for their lives. <laughs> like if, you know, it's kind of like the, the stumbling drunk. Like you're like, whoa. And then you're worried that they're going to crash into you kind of a thing. So there's like the social awkward of social awkward crashing into me. That could be another thing. And I mean, there's probably a gazillion. And then off the top of my head, the other thing is when you haven't hung out with enough people who are a neurotypical, who are just, you know, they, you know, either they're kind of on the Asperger spectrum or, you know, whatever. They're just different. And you haven't hung out. Maybe you, you never grow up. You didn't grow up with, with friends like this, or you've never hung out with, with people like this. Um, so, so somebody doesn't know what's happened. Like they're like, what is happening? <laughs> the other thing is people who are high. I don't really get high. So sometimes people are talking to me and I'm like, and then a friend is like, you know that person is stoned out of their mind or tripping out of their mind. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh, oh, this makes sense. Yeah. So those are different versions of creepy. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like for this person who wrote this email, that, uh, and thank you for your emails, yeah. um, that if you lead with just being vulnerable and being inviting and playful, you'll probably be fine. And one, just a, a bonus tip, start practicing with some people that you don't, you're not ultra crushed out on because it's so hard to flirt with people you're ultra crushed out on if you haven't gotten some practice with. So like find some people that you would like to flirt with that you're genuinely interested in, but at, you know, they're interesting at a three or four, not a 12. Yeah. And if you're, if you're, if you're forced with, you're trapped in an elevator with somebody who you're having a crush on, just tell them, just be like, just, you know. I might act a little weird around you because I have a huge crush on you. I will try to be as sav savvy as I can with that. And by the way, I would like to flirt with you. A lot of people think I'm straight. I'm not. Would you mind me flirting with you? And then you just look at them like this. Because <laughs> you're trapped in the elevator. Remember? That's what I would do. What are your comments? What do you think? about this situation and we also have a lot of uh, flirting advice on this channel yeah. so you just just do a search a channel search for flirting yeah thanks so much for writing in I hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, leave some more comments we'll try to get to them and subscribe mm -hmm.